We're in Target. Um, just decided to come out to the store and look at like the fall baby clothes and the fall decor. Also, I have a new camera. So, excuse me trying to figure out the camera. So used to my old one that I had for five years. But here is a Reborn Doll Bennett. I hope that you all can hear me with a mask on. <laughs> but I was looking at the cute girl clothes in Target and look at this little knit outfit. It would be perfect for Christmas. You do have a zero to three. I might get my new doll a couple of things, maybe. I don't know yet. But these are pretty pricey. We're also going to TJ Maxx. Oh my goodness, this is so soft. We're also going to TJ Maxx. Um, maybe Ross and a couple of other stores as well this is really cute oh and it has the little flowers that's adorable where did everybody else go? I have to go find them My husband just disappeared. I don't know where they went. Where did they go? There you are. I was looking for you. Everett and Josh are with me. As usual. These are new and so cute. Love this style. I'm actually considering getting this for Bennett because this would be really cute as a winter outfit. Oh, these are new. It's a cute little bear coat. This is very similar to the H&M one that I already have, but um, the H&M one is white. These aren't really bear ears. I guess these are more like pom-poms. It's very soft. And these are adorable for little boys. This camera is not wanting to focus. It takes it a minute. The tiny little jeans and suspenders, so adorable. Some of the new girls' winter clothes. Wow, this camera, it does have a hard time focusing sometimes. I have to tell it where to focus. Oh, here's the boys version of the little reindeer outfit. to look at these. We didn't get to look at these yet. Here's 
Here's some of the girls' Christmassy holiday outfits. This is a cute plaid. This is a really cute plaid. I actually really like this one. I'm not a huge fan of plaid normally. These are so cute and they would be so cute on twins. We're back home now. I did not get a chance to film in Ross or TJ Maxx because they always have a lot of loud music in there. So I would just have to take all the audio out and replace it with music or just take all the audio out. But now that we're home, I have a little haul to show you guys. I only got a few things. Yeah, I'm really excited about them though. And I wanted to show you Bennett's outfit up close because I didn't do that while we were at the store. So today he is wearing a really cute zero to three month Jimboree outfit. This is the Ugly Duckling outfit. I don't remember what year Jimboree had this, but it's really cute. And it has the matching pants with the onesie. And I also brought along his little jelly cat lovey in the beige color. And a Ryan and Rose pacifier with matching clip in the color camel. This is a limited edition color. See the camera, this camera is not focusing itself very well. Um, I don't know how well the camera did in the store. I will see while I'm editing because it doesn't autofocus the best, unfortunately dressed all in yellow today and here is my little haul so as you all could tell when I was in Target I really loved this outfit this is by Cat and Jack it's a little knit sweater top with these ribbed pants and these pants are a really interesting color um, I really like them and they're really soft for a ribbed material and I just love the style. So, yeah, I decided that this is going to be his holiday outfit for this year. As a matter of fact, I've never bought anything specifically for this doll because this doll, um, he's a very special doll, as you all know. And I already had lots of baby boy clothes in newborn in zero to three month. So I've never purchased anything for him before. So, yeah, I got this. For him it was a little bit pricier than I normally would pay um, for a cat and jack brand but for what it is it's a really nice outfit and compared to other um, high-end brands I would have paid a lot more for a similar outfit so I thought it was a decent deal and then for my new doll that I have coming very soon I got her her holiday outfit and this is also by Cat and Jack it has a um, really cute plaid top with the little bloomers I just love this set and I got it in zero to three I got his outfit in newborn because it looks like newborn will fit him fine for that but um, the doll I have coming is a little bit bigger than newborn so I thought zero to three would be good 
And then I grabbed this at TJ Maxx. This is a very soft gray baby blanket by Kyle and Dina. It is so soft. I wish you all could feel it. I got this because I don't have any really soft fluffy baby blankets anymore. I usually send dolls home like if I'm selling a doll um, I'll send them home in a fluffy blanket so I was out of fluffy blankets except for a light pink one. I thought I could definitely use a gender neutral one and TJ Maxx always has really great prices on baby blankets. They also had some different knit ones there but I wasn't too fond of the colors so I didn't get one of those. Alright and here's my big purchase of the day. This is a Baby Delight Go With Me Portable Baby Rocker. And this was only $30 at Ross. And it's going to be great. Um, actually bought it for a real baby. But I will be using it for dolls as well. Um, I really like it. It's very gender neutral, has lots of great features, and it's just going to be great for on the go. My husband looked this up because I wanted to know what the actual price of it was. Because sometimes you can find really good deals at places like Ross and TJ Maxx, and then sometimes the deals are just not that great. So I asked him to look it up online while we were in the store, and he did. And this same rocker at Macy's is $100, so I got a really great deal on it. Can't wait to use it, and maybe um, soon we could take a doll on a picnic or something and take this with us to try it out. That would be fun. And I'm going to do a little unboxing video of it, I think, too, as a like review and thoughts on it, because I'm really interested to see if I'm going to like it or not. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thank you for bearing with me while I'm trying to figure out this new camera. It's not too much different from my old camera, but in some ways it is, and it's taken me a little bit of time and some filming to try to figure out all the new settings and everything that this camera comes with. But anyway, I'll be back with another video soon, and thanks for watching everyone.